Tonight we're going to be checking out a show that's been entertaining people in Las Vegas for over 15 years. That's Penn and Teller at the Rio. Now I have to be honest, this was Cody's choice. It hasn't really been on my radar. I've been coming to Vegas probably since about 2010. So, I mean, I've seen their billboards and everything for a number of years. It's never really been a show that I've really wanted to jump to go and see. Don't get me wrong, I do love my illusionists, my magicians, all that stuff. And I mean, I grew up watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch and other shows that they used to appear on. But uh, yeah, as I said, Cody definitely wanted to see this one. So I was game for that. So we are gonna go check that out shortly at the Rio. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film in there. I'm guessing probably not a lot, but I will kind of show you at least the layout as much as I can, a few little shots here and there. And I will explain to you how to save some money on the tickets as well, of course. So stay tuned for that. Let's go to the Rio. All right, so this is my first time back in the Rio in probably, actually, yeah, definitely well over 10 years. The first time, first and last time I ever came here was back in 2012 for their Mardi Gras party. Definitely still had that show in the sky and everything going on. And uh, I think it was like that same year, if not the next year, that they stopped doing that. So it's really crazy to think, you know, like how much has changed here. That was a good draw here. And, you know, I would love to show more people that. And I definitely think they should keep doing that because I think it would really help, you know, bring people into the Rio. There's, you know, this doesn't feel like they've really done much. I know they are trying to kind of, you know, renew it. I know they've, you know, switched up the rooms and things like that. But anyway, just a couple little thoughts. But we are going to go see the show shortly. Uh, we, they did give us uh, eight bucks, I think, to sign up for a new casino card. They are not doing any status matching at the time, but anyway, that's fine. Anyway, we're going to go check out the show. No more soon. So I had no idea they'd been together since 1975. So over 40 years of Penn & Teller, so that's really cool. First time seeing them live. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. <sighs> All right, so Penn and Teller at the Rio did not expect it. So um, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know I've been coming to Vegas for a really long time. So. Um, I know Penn and Teller have been performing at Rio since, God, I think they said, you know, over 15 years now. So, you know, they've been here for a while <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've always seen their ads popping up and everything. And I'll be completely honest with you. It was not a show that I thought, gotta see that one. Um, you know, I kind of grew up with seeing Penn and Teller in things like Sabrina Teenage Witch, if you guys remember seeing them in that, um, you know, episodes of The Simpsons or just other sitcoms that we just sort of find a way to pop into and everything. So, um... Definitely knew of them, and uh, yeah, I've always, you know, I've always liked them. I remember seeing them, what were they, like AT&T commercials back in the day or something like that. But anyway, this show was actually Cody's choice. Um, as usual, you know how I am. I always have to scour the internet, try and find deals for just about everything. So um, fortunately for this one, there was a travel zoo. So I did actually post um, at the end of last year. I did have a, a link you could have signed up for Travel Zoo. So if you did sign up for Travel Zoo, good for you because you can save about 40% as of now, at least the time we're recording this, you can save about 40% on the show. There are other discounts available if you go to like Vegas.com, if you go to like, I don't know, if I'm sure if you check Groupon or other discount sites, I'm sure you'll find something, but I know at least for Travel Zoo, if you are signed up for Travel Zoo, you can save about 40% on tickets. Now this will put you on sort of like the mezzanine, but I mean, Cody and I were in the front row of the mezzanine and it was still very close. We saw everything. There was, you know, it was not, you know, not a massive theater at all. It was perfectly fine. Now the show is what you'd expect. It's magic tricks. It's maybe a little bit of illusions. They might not like that word, but uh, yeah, just sort of like messing with your mind a little bit and just what you'd expect from, you know, your typical magic show. What I did not expect though, was the comedy factor. Like I was laughing so much, you guys. I, I, I was not expecting that. I kind of figured they'd come out do their usual i mean they're professionals right they've been doing this for over 40 years i think or something like that so you know they're professionals they know what they're doing they know how to enter entertain a crowd and you know that i wasn't worried about that i just did not expect to be laughing as much as i did the comedy factor of the show was phenomenal tons of audience participation as well so if you are the type of person who does like to be called on stage or you know be involved in the tricks and things like that then you're definitely gonna want to sit on the main level because that is where they are de definitely gonna come you know call on you you know if you've got a birthday for example if you've got uh 
um, you know, from certain places, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, you're definitely gonna want to sit on that level, and you probably will be on stage at some point. I mean, I think by the end of it, more than half the people on the ground floor were involved in the show one way or the other. Now, like I said, I was not worried about being entertained, being wowed, being amazing. The magic tricks that they did do were amazing. Um, definitely very impressive. Definitely very like, wow, how'd they do that <laughs> kind of thing. But like I said, for me, the, the big surprise was the comedy factor. Like I seriously cannot say enough, you know, how much I was laughing at this show. It was such a, just a funny, all around good time. The show itself is about two hours, so you know, bank on that. There are drinks ahead of time. I will say, if you are planning on getting a drink, then get there a little bit early. Um, we were waiting in line for quite a while to get drinks. Drinks weren't crazy expensive. The drink I had, I think, was like a margarita drink, um, maybe around 15 bucks or so. And I'm not gonna lie, by the end of it, I was definitely feeling it. The pours are heavy. I know Co uh, Cody ordered a beer, and they kind of just kept like, pouring more and more and more and more into his glass and basically it was one beer and then he's you know he said chug a bit more he chugged a bit more and he filled up from you know another bottle so they were not shy about you know the pours and everything so yeah i have to say kudos to them on that but that being said we were late coming inside because you know we had to wait in line for our drinks and had to get onto our seats and stuff. so we did miss the first trick unfortunately but still fine the other thing i will mention is everybody in that theater was so nice um the all the like ushers and everything were um how do i say this nicely mature women and uh they were all really lovely really sweet um you know offered their insight when they could and things like that just yeah all just really really great great ushers really lovely really just yeah you guys are awesome i also really love the little nod to siegfried and roy they had i mean siegfried and roy if you guys know vegas had that secret garden at the mirage for many many years um, you know, we're a staple on the Las Vegas Strip for a long time. Unfortunately, both have passed um, since, uh, you know, I think COVID, I think actually is when they both passed away, unfortunately. But uh, there was a bit of a nod to them as you came in. You know, like I said, they had their secret garden. Penn and Teller had their like secret pasture or something like that. And they had like cows or something like that. So anyway, I just thought that was really cute. They had a little bit of a nod to, uh, to Siegfried and Roy. That was, uh, I like how they showed, you know, a little bit of respect for them. But is this spot right for you? Honestly, this was a good show. It wasn't a fortune, which is always nice because, you know, Vegas ain't cheap. So it's always nice to find a reasonably priced show where you're going to be entertained and uh, not going to be disappointed. I honestly really, really had a great time. I can't believe it took me this long to see Penn & Teller. Like I said, I've been coming to Vegas myself for, you know, probably around 15 or so years. And the fact that I've yet to see them, you know, after they've had that residency at the Rio all that time is just shocking to me. So uh, yeah, I'm, I, I was I was definitely wowed. But if you're looking for something, you know, lighthearted, it seemed very family friendly as well. You know, jokes for all, the, all ages sort of thing. Nobody was left out. Everybody was sort of welcome. Um, just all around a good time. You know, whether you're there for the, the magic, the, the comedy, the just the artistry of it all, I do not think you're gonna be disappointed with this one. I would definitely highly encourage you go and check out Penn & Teller at the Rio. Pay full price if you, you know, can't find discounts because it still is definitely worth it. Otherwise, check out some of the discount sites, check out TravelZoo, check out like Vegas.com. You know, just, just do some Googling. You know, I guess, you know, you know how to do it now. Check out Groupon, check out, uh, you know, Living Social, any of the discount sites. I'm sure you guys will find tickets somewhere, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. I have also heard that this show will be ending its run in 2026. Now, again, these things can change, you know, um, don't take my word for it. You know, like Vegas with anything, anything can change just like that. But last I did hear the rumor was that the show was gonna be coming to an end in 2026. So I'm not sure what time of, you know, when you guys are watching this video, but just bear that in mind that catch it before it's too late. Anyway, if I miss anything, please don't hesitate to leave any questions or comments below. Obviously it's helpful to you know other travelers because they may have the same questions as you do. It's really helpful to me as well because any interaction you guys have with my videos, whether you're liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's, you know, there's a little button down there. It's totally free for you. It really helps me keep delivering this free content to you. And uh, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Once again, this has been Daniel Spotlight. Viva Las Vegas. We'll see you in the next one.